ice cream fight. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instruction at all times. Touch gloves, come out ready. It was interesting to note for Brandon Gardner, he trains uh, soldiers at Fort Bragg in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so uh, definitely uh, involved in many facets of the martial arts, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this Battle unfolds here at Great Edmonton's fight. Northlands Agricom. Great. King of the Cage shocking off. Morinello along with Duke Rufus and Jeremy Horn cage side. You can see uh, Jason using that low stand-up stance is very sprawl ready in that position. Trying to get low so he can get his hips back just in case he gets shot on. Trying to stalk with his striking ability. Yeah, that can make it hard sometimes to, uh, you know, to defend the kicks. Like you can see with a, with a lower stance like that, you're not quite as mobile with your foot sometimes. Dent does have a three-inch uh, height advantage. Um, definitely may come into play here, guys. The the reach. Uh, definitely, if he stays on his feet longer, it's going to come into play. He's going to start loosening up a little bit and probably standing up a little taller and start throwing more hands. The thing I'm worried about with Dent, this is the lightest weight I've ever seen him fight at. Uh, the weight, the weight coming off might affect his stamina in this bout. You mentioned him coming off a, a win against Josh Souter, Gladiator's fight night in the flats as you see him with the good takedown defense there as Garner went in for the shot and now it's a butterfly guard. My Garner as Dent has him and what are your thoughts on the butterfly guard Jeremy and what purpose does it really serve in MMA? Uh, honestly in my opinion the butterfly guard is the only way to go in MMA. It, it offers you a lot of opportunities to be aggressive and attack from the bottom. Uh, whereas a closed guard is really, you know, looking only for defense and a, a few submissions here and there. But uh, if, if you're looking to win the fight and take it to the guy, the butterfly guard's the way to go. And you can see the guard are busy underneath as well, looking for an opportunity to neutralize the arms. Maybe even look for a more attempt with the left arm. But Dent doing a good job here of keeping him neutral. An opportunity here as well to try to pass the guard, right, with the open guard. Yeah, uh, he did a good job. He actually climbed into the full guard, which actually, you know, limits uh, Brandon's options for submission and that type of thing, which opens up Jason's uh, offense a bit more. Now, with, with Brandon, what type of submission can he attempt from here, possibly? Um, he's sitting over the top of this arm. That offers you a couple options of uh, reversals and uh, a guillotine joke or possibly a uh, shoulder lock. And and uh, he's, he's doing a real good job of uh, tying up Jason's arms and, and keeping him busy and, and now he's looking for a good time. Triangle but there, you're right. Jason did a good job, uh, got his head up and got the pressure off a bit and now it looks like he'll probably get loose. And looking to do maybe what Quentin Jackson did to Ricardo Arona and Pride and didn't get all the momentum behind that but does drop him down and now here's Garner, Jeremy. This looks to be getting a bit tighter. Uh, he got Jason back down to the ground and now he's got a lock up behind his knee and this might... This might be it. You can see Dent tight. trying to fight out of it. And it is over as Jason Dynamite Dent is forced to tap out. Brandon Garner submits him with the triangle choke and uh, well, well executed uh, submission there by Brandon Garner, Jeremy. Yeah, he did a really good job. He got his legs in tight and uh, held onto it and worked it in slowly and uh, brought Jason back down to the ground and then locked it up. And you can see uh, that he even knows that that's a big win uh, against the likes of Jason Dynamite Dent, who uh, is, as we all know, a very well-respected fighter and uh, not as nice tonight. And well, well yeah, sorry, dude. Again, it just goes to show you, fans at home, I know you like the big bombs, but the science of this sport, the, the chess game uh, on the ground, it looks like he was getting beaten, and then he gets that beautiful submission. Yeah. Oh, you're singing to the choir when you're talking to the likes of yours truly, and of course, Jeremy Horn. That's a beautiful triangle joke. And let's take a look now at that butterfly guard. And uh, you put it really, really well there, Jeremy, and uh, talking about it again, why it behooves a fighter on the bottom to have the butterfly guard. Yeah, it's like I said, it just offers a lot more opportunities for submissions and, and uh, offense, really, just offense in general, whereas the close guard, it doesn't offer you as many. Obviously, as you can see, it offers you uh, a, a triangle choke, but... Uh, and speaking of the triangle choke, here is the setup. Yeah, he did a good job. He shoved that arm back and got his left leg inside and uh, was able to get that up over his, over his uh, Jason's shoulder. And Jason did a good job. He stood up, started taking the pressure off and trying to back out. I think, uh, you know, maybe working him up against the fence here might have been a little bit of a mistake, but uh, Brandon was doing a good job of hanging on tight and working it in, so. Yeah, it was a great fight. Uh, submission win for Brandon Garner.